I made this router planing jig a few years ago, and it works really well. Basically, put a piece of board underneath, hold it down with double stick tape, and then you can thickness plane it along the board. But when I want to work on a piece this size, this one is too big and too cumbersome to take out each time. So today I'm going to build a smaller version of this router jig. So the first thing I do is I come into SketchUp and make a detailed model of the jig. Here the dimensions are accurate and allow me to find any mistakes before making any cuts. So we have the base, the rails on each side, and then the sled. The router sits on the sled in this opening, which is 7 inches. It should accommodate most router sizes. I then made a copy of the jig and color-coded it. The pieces with the same color will have the same cut. That allows me to then place these pieces onto a 24 by 48 piece of MDF. And this is a trick I learned from Jay Bates from one of his videos on YouTube. I took this one step further and added the dimensions on the pieces. So I know that when I go to the table saw, the first thing I need to do is make this cut at 12 inches then I'll set my fence to 11 inches, make the second cut, then 2 inches, make these cuts, and so on. So I printed this piece of paper, and I will use it uh, on the table saw. All the pieces in this project are made with 5 8 inch MDF. Once all the pieces are cut, I dry fit them together to see if everything fits properly. There's an opening in the center of the sled for the router bit to pass through. Here I'm calculating the location of that opening. I cut out the opening with a jigsaw and then clean it with a chisel and some sandpaper. All the pieces are attached with wood screws. I pre-drill the pilot holes first and then make the countersink with a drill bit that's bigger than the screw head without going very deep.
I mark the location of the screws underneath with a pencil so that I don't accidentally screw into another piece of metal. Now I assemble the sled. It's a matter of putting the pieces at the right location, pre-drilling the pilot holes, creating the countersink, and then screwing in the, the screws. For the last piece I use a paper folded in half as a shim to put a little bit of spacing between that piece and the rail so that the sled can glide smoothly. So I'm very happy with the finished product. The sled slides really well. However, the, the whole thing is quite light and uh, moves easily on the table, which was not the case with the big version of this, which was quite heavy. Um, so even with the router at the full extension, the bit still has enough clearance and is not touching the rails. The workable area is 8 inches, but because of the clearance of the router bit, we probably lose about an inch on each side, so really it's about 6 inches. <laughs> 